I'm Noreen and welcome to my kitchen and today we have a special ep episode for you. Today I'm doing a video in conjunction and on behalf of the Today's Modern Family website which is a website that caters to helping and reaching out to blended families in today's society. Helping you get through those tough times and making them a little bit easier. My friend Diane, who runs Today's Modern Family along with her colleagues, asked me if I would do a video for you sharing some healthy summer snacks. And because the hot weather is here and the kids are out of school, I couldn't think of a better opportunity to do this. So let's go see how we do these. great for grown-ups, it's great for kids, it's great for teens, it's great for anybody. So to start off, because you know I couldn't make a yummy summer snack without incorporating some Tarani, we're gonna do a slushy strawberry lemonade. And this is what we're gonna do. I have my drink maker, it's filled with ice, and all I'm gonna do, whoopsie, is I'm, I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna pour a quarter of a cup or so of lemonade, this is homemade lemonade, and a shot of Tarani lemon syrup right in there. They can do this in a blender too. Yeah. You can absolutely do it in a blender. I just have this drink mixer and I love it. And I'm going to go ahead and get this ice going in here. All right. So if you feel like you still have some chunky ice in there, don't worry because we're going to go ahead and we're going to put this. You see how it's like an Italian ice now? Yeah. It's awesome. So now I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to put some strawberries in here. And depending on what your little drink maker is going to handle and everyone who's been watching me for a while knows that I am notorious for overfilling so you know why should I change things now okay put this back on there and there you go now I probably used about a half a cup of strawberries in there and I filled this up with ice and it has probably about two cups of ice but look at that like that. Yeah, you might. It's nice and it's not too thick that you can't suck it through a straw and I can still feel a chunk of ice in there, but who cares? Mmm. -hmm. Mm. Oh, that's yummy. Yeah, it is. It's like a, it's like a strawberry lemonade slushy is what exactly mm -hmm. it is and it's delicious and this Tarani makes just boost that lemon flavor for my already really tart homemade lemonade, mm -hmm. even that for much further. And we didn't have to add any additional sweetener because the Tarani, which is made with pure cane, cane sugar, is what we used as our sweetener. So you can make that to your heart's desire, and I think that is going to be a lovely, super cooling summer treat for anybody to enjoy. It is. So that's snack, healthy summer snack number one a strawberry lemonade slushy, and now we're going to move on. All right, the next thing on our healthy summer snacks list is frozen grapes. I know this is so simple in its thought, you know, the idea of it is like really frozen grapes, but listen, I used to take my girls to a babysitter who used to swear by frozen grapes. Kids love them. In the summertime, you, you give them a couple of these frozen grapes, especially little ones, you know, um, give them these. You just kind of roll them around in your mouth until they become soft enough. They're super refreshing. You know, grapes are juicy, and they're full of goodness, and they're super healthy. So they're already sweet from nature, and that's all you have to do. I put them on a sheet pan, this sheet pan, and I just, I rinsed them off first, and I just laid them on a sheet pan that I have lined with parchment. I stuck them in the freezer for a couple of hours. Easy. And then you can just stick them in a Ziploc bag and stick them back in the freezer. Your kids can reach in there and grab them whenever they want to and everybody is going to be happy and they're going to really like them because they're delicious and they're super refreshing. So healthy summer snack number two, frozen grapes. Now let's move on to our third option. Our next option is a layered fruit and yogurt parfait. This is great for breakfast, lunch, snack, anytime. I have just a little Sunday glass. You can use a regular cup. It doesn't matter. I'm going to put a little yogurt in the bottom. I'm going to put a little granola. I'm going to put some strawberries that I have chopped up kind of small. And I have some blackberries out of my garden here. I'm going to put a little more yogurt. A 
little more granola. And this is not a new idea, I know that. But sometimes it's good to be reminded mm -hmm. of the fun things that we can do with very little. This is really budget friendly. And a lot of you probably already have these things on hand. It's just a matter of saying, hey, I'm going to put those together and make a great snack. So there you go. And there is your layered fruit and yogurt and granola parfait. Then all you need good. is a long spoon. And who's not going to love that for a snack? It's filling. It's going to stay with you. And it's going to get you from that mid-afternoon slump between lunch and dinner. And it's going to get you to dinner so that you don't have to... You're not going to find yourself eating a lot of junk. So mm -hmm. that is healthy summer snack number three. A layered fruit, granola, and yogurt parfait. As a bonus, I just wanted to mention, now this is just some plain vanilla yogurt like we put in the parfait. Another quick snack for your kids, or for you, is just to flavor up your favorite yogurt. We always have this vanilla Greek yogurt in our refrigerator because we like to use it in smoothies and we like to use it to do this. Um, take your favorite jam, whether it be homemade, low sugar, sugar free, or store bought, whatever, um, and just plop yourself a nice healthy spoonful right in there. There's another idea. Get yourself some plain yogurt. And I've actually been doing this since I was 13 years old. My mom always had bought the plain yogurt. But, you know, why pay for the fruity yogurt when you already have jam at home, maybe? And you can do it whatever flavor you want. Because sometimes the kind that you want, they don't have at the store. So the sky is the limit as far as the flavors go. Make it your own plain yogurt and fruit jam. All right, our last healthy summer snack is really appropriate for any time because I don't know anybody who doesn't like a good chocolate treat. These are going to be a family favorite, I guarantee. We're going to make a crunchy coconut granola chocolate drop, and it's going to be 100% healthy, and you're going to love it because of that. I know I said chocolate, but you're not going to believe how easy this is. So you need to start off with a cup of coconut oil. Get it in your pan. And then to that, we're going to add a cup of cocoa powder. You can also use cacao, but uh, cocoa powder is less expensive and most people have it on hand. Now I'm going to move over to the stove and we're going to melt this together and then we're going to add a couple more ingredients. Okay, I just took this over to the stove and I melted the cocoa and the coconut oil together and that is what it should look like. Easy peasy. This happens really fast and you don't have to turn the pan on very high at all. I'm going to add about a teaspoon of vanilla extract. Get that stirred in there really well. The next thing to go in is a half a cup of honey, whatever is your choice. If you want to use agave nectar, feel free. You can do that as well, but you need to put a sweetener in here because if you try and put this together without some sort of sweetener, that's going to be super bittersweet and really unpleasant. So just give this a stir. Get that honey incorporated in there with the coconut oil, the cocoa, and the vanilla. And, because you know what I always say, everything sweet needs a little salty. And I'm kicking my light here. I'm going to give just a couple of good pinches of Himalayan pink salt and give that a stir. And now I'm going to add two cups of, sorry, thunder. Two cups of granola, one cup of flaked coconut, which is optional, and give this a good stir. And my granola has raisins in it and oats and all those good things, so you choose your favorite granola. And now it looks a little soupy, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to let this sit for about 10 minutes, and then we're going to come scoop it out onto a parchment lined sheet, and we're going to put it in the freezer. The freezer? Freezer. The freezer. <laughs> we'll be back. All right, we finished up our healthy chocolate 
granola drops and they are lovely. I dropped them onto a parchment lined baking sheet that fit inside my freezer. Please make sure that you check that before you start, otherwise you're in for an unpleasant surprise. I left them in there for about 15 minutes and then I brought them out and I just put them in the dish. Now you are going to probably want to store these in the fridge, but they are going to be fine at room temperature. As long as it doesn't get below or above 76 degrees in your house or in your kitchen, in the summertime that's probably going to be difficult for some people so I recommend you do keep them in an airtight container in the fridge. So do you want to try one? You ready to taste one? If I have to. <laughs> okay. Mm. That's delicious. Mm. That is really good. Mm. Mm -hmm. I love chocolate and raisins and I just got a big old raisin. Mm. That's a guilty pleasure. Mm. Mm -mm -mm. And they're healthy. Mm -hmm. Coconut oil and cocoa powder. But you'll it, feel guilty eating it. You will. You won't have any of those nasty chemicals. You're going to love giving these to your kids, I promise. Mm -hmm. mm. Okay. So those, there is a thunderstorm currently going on right here. <laughs> yep. So that's our healthy chocolate and granola drops. Our frozen grapes, which are kind of thawing out over here, but they're still frozen. Mm -hmm. Our strawberry lemonade slushy, which I cannot tell you how delicious this is. While we were preparing all this other stuff, I stuck it in the freezer. So it's like the perfect slushy consistency now. I think I'm going to have to fight Rick for it. Mm. Our layered yogurt, granola, and fruit parfait. And our little tip on how to make your own flavored yogurt, whatever flavor you like the best. So, I hope that you give these healthy summer snacks a try. Of course, you don't have to limit yourself to summer and you don't have to limit yourself to the flavors that I've used here today. I hope also that you will go check out the Today's Modern Family website. I will leave links below. I can't tell you how much Diane has helped us as a family and I know that she continues to help friends of mine with those blended family issues that tend to rear their ugly heads and summertime seems to be one of those seasons and <laughs> And those blended family issues can just turn up. Mm -hmm. They're not limited to summer, but for some reason in the summer, those things can really be a problem. So, I hope that you will go check out that website. And if you are a blended family or a parent of a blended family and you need help, please consider contacting the Today's Modern Family folks because they can help you via telephone, text, and Skype. So, I highly encourage that you seek them out if that is something that you feel that you need help with. So I hope you give these recipes a try. I hope that you love them. I hope you have a great summer. And until next time, I'll see ya. Thank you for joining me in my kitchen today. I hope you liked what you watched today and I hope that you try it and I hope that you love it. Um, if you like what you saw, please consider hitting the thumbs up button and giving me a positive rating. And also make sure that you hit the subscribe button if you're already not a subscriber so that you don't miss out on any of the fun we have here in our kitchen every single day. I hope that you enjoyed it. I'm really glad that you're here. Thank you for stopping by. Don't forget to come by tomorrow. Until next time, happy eating!